talking about this guy. This is the EcoFlow Max 2000, which I believe is either the best or one of the best portable power stations on the market right now. Today I'm going to give you 10 reasons why I think that. And we're going to talk about why we are going to be using this as kind of the heart of our adventure van build out. I'm finally getting around to building out the adventure van, doing more of a, of a custom build in there. And, and this guy is going to be our power. It's going to run our lights, our outlets, and our fridge. And uh, you'll see why. But maybe you're saying, hey, that's not me. I, I don't have a van that I'm building. I don't live in an RV or overland, anything like that. I don't do a lot of camping, which again, this would be great for all of those things. Everybody should have a portable power station in their home for emergency backup power. For instance, we live here in San Diego and in San Diego, we have wildfires. Everyone thinks that, that California is scary because of earthquakes. It's not. Earthquakes are, are kind of fun, actually. When an earthquake goes off, everyone gets kind of excited, like, oh, did you feel that? But wildfires, we, we do not get excited about at all because uh, they, they burn people's houses down. And because the risk of wildfire is so great, sometimes SDG&E just turns our power off because it's a it's a windy night and conditions are dry. So they just go, hey, uh, you guys, you don't, you don't get power tonight. And this is like a mad rush at the grocery store for bags of ice so people can save the food in their fridge and their freezers. And it's a whole thing. Just get one of these, plug your fridge into it and, and you will be sitting pretty while all your neighbors are freaking out. Okay, on to my 10 reasons why this is one of the best, if not the best portable power station on the market. And number one is 2016 watt hours of storage in the main unit. And I say the main unit because this thing has two extra expansion ports right here on the side. You can plug two expansion batteries into this thing. So add one expansion battery and the 2016 watt hours becomes 4,032 watt hours. Add two expansion battery packs and the 2016 watt hours becomes 6,048 watt hours, which that's a that's a lot of power. Now, I don't think we'll ever need 6,000 watt hours in the van, but I will be buying one expansion pack because this will live in the van. 2016 watt hours will, will probably be good for us for 90 to 95% of situations, but for that extra 5% where the solar on top of the van might not keep us topped off, I am gonna pick up an expansion battery pack so that I can bring that into the van and all of a sudden my van now has 4,000 watt hours or 4,032 watt hours, but I can take it out so I don't have to drive around with two batteries in there all the time. So really cool that it's expandable. I mean, crazy that it's already 2016 watt hours, but very cool that it's expandable up to 6,048 watt hours. Number two reason that we went with this guy, this thing has a 2,400 watt output sustained. Now it has an X boost mode that you can go into that brings that up to 3,400 watts and it can handle surges of up to 5,000 watts but 2,400 watts output sustained, um, that's that's banana. That's pretty. I mean, this is this is like true wall power in your vehicle. So any there's no appliances in my house that pull more than 2,400 watts. And combined, everything that we're doing in the van won't pull more than 2,400 watts. So we'll have I'll be charging plenty of things off of here: camera batteries, drone batteries, electric skateboards, electric bike. Oh, we got an electric bike, a new electric bike video coming very soon. We'll be charging all of that off of here, including our 12 volt fridge that we have in the van and any lighting that we end up putting in the van will all run off this thing. We won't come anywhere near 2400 watts. Because with lots of power stations, you, you can't even run something like a hair dryer. And with this thing, a hair dryer would be would be no problem. So we go out for an adventure. And if, if Morgan wants to do her hair, feel free, babe. Do your hair. Okay, number three reason, this thing fast charges from zero to 80% in just over an hour, and it fast charges to 100% in just under two hours. Now, now that is absurdly quick. I have dealt with a lot of portable power stations in the past, and I've never seen a portable power station charge this quickly. And you'll see on the back, there's a switch actually. But some people will say, well, fast charging isn't good for the battery. and. That's still kind of true. It used to be more true. How how fast charging used to work before, it was more true. But even how the newer fast charging are working, you are sort of, you're putting more stress on the battery than you would if you slow charged it. So there's a switch right here, boop, and now I can slow charge or I can actually customize that charging in the app. And we'll talk about the app 
at number nine. But number four reason why I love this power station is uh, this screen right here. It is a very impressive screen, really easy to read, really bright, even in bright sunlight. On the left side here, we have total time to charge or total time to discharge. So if you're charging the unit at whatever speed you're charging it at, it'll let you know how long until this thing is at 100%. And then if you got a bunch of stuff plugged into here and they're all running at the same time, it will tell you how long can this battery keep it up before it's totally dead. In the middle there, we got the battery percentage. On the right hand side, on the top is your input watts and on the bottom is your output watts. But overall, just a, a really good screen. I feel, like, I feel like getting information from a unit like this is important and a lot of power stations put like a really crummy screen on a really high tech device. All right, number five, this thing has 15 outlets. So on the front here, we have two USB-A regular USB-A's. On the right hand side, we have two fast charge USB-A's. And then down below, there are two USB-C 100 watt outlets. So if you have a laptop, you just plug a USB-C cable into here, into your laptop, leave your power brick at home. You're, you're totally set. This thing's got you covered. 100 watts coming out of there. That's impressive. But what's more impressive is on the back because look at this six three prong outlets like AC wall outlets. This is actually an issue that I have with a lot of other power stations is not giving me enough like regular plug in outlets. A lot of my devices are USB C, but I also have a ton of devices that are like regular three prong AC outlets and having six is uh, pretty fantastic. Then right down below that is your DC outlet. That's what our 12 volt fridge is gonna be plugged into and then two three amp outlets right next to it. So that uh a lot of outlets. Uh, number six feature on here that, that I love is the inputs. So I have your AC input up here that I talked about already and we have a XD60 solar input right next to that. So it comes with a, a car charging cable that can plug into that. So this plugs into here. Just plug that into your cigarette lighter and you are charging just from your car. Then you also have this cable and this is I'm gonna say that's like a 12 foot cable that it comes with. These two ends hook up to your solar panels and then way down here, this little guy right here goes into that XD60 outlet. Now the one bummer is that you cannot solar charge and car charge at the same time because it only has one of those outlets. Now the bummer there is, is just that this thing can charge faster with more input. So if I have the AC cable plugged into a wall and I have solar panels hooked up to it, it actually goes above that 1800 watt of input. I think it goes up to 24 or 2600 watts of possible input, which again, just means you're charging it faster. And it would be nice if I could be driving down the road and solar charging from the top of the van and car charging from inside the van at the same time. I know that would give me more juice possible into this thing, but but right now you gotta choose one because you've only got one of those ports. But speaking of solar charging, this thing can accept up to 800 watts of solar charging, which, which is kind of bananas. We are gonna put 240 watts of solar on top of the van. I don't think we're gonna need more than that for our setup and our usage. I could of course always add more panels, but even if I added two more panels, that would bring me to 480 watts. So yeah, 800 watts, that's more for maybe like a solar setup or like a really intense camping set. If you're gonna go camping and you're gonna bring maybe eight 100 watt panels or about, I don't know, that's a, that's a lot. Definitely a ton of solar input that it can take. Again, we won't be giving it that much, but it is nice that it can take that. The the number eight reason that we went with this guy though is, is the size. Look at this thing. This thing is 25 inches long. It is 11.2 inches from here to here. And then it's only 16.4 inches tall. So this thing is gonna be able to fit into the bench seat of our van build out really, really nicely. And the whole thing is only 48 pounds. So again, if you're somewhere where you need to pull this out of your van or pull this out of your RV or camp setup or overland setup, whatever it is to take into maybe a restaurant to charge up with this little cable, or you just need to take it inside for the night. Ah, 48 pounds for a unit like this, two big handles. It's actually not, it doesn't feel super heavy. Again, for what it is, having 2016 watt hours in here, being 48 pounds, I feel like this is actually kind of a shockingly lightweight set up based on the rest of the market, kind of where other portable generators are at right now. Number nine on our list here is, is the EcoFlow app. This, 
this app right there. It is, it is a super impressive little app. I've got how much power I've got left in here. I've got my input, my output. I can turn on that X boost mode. I can turn on my different ports on here and I can turn them off, which is nice. And then I can actually go into the settings and there's a ton of customization. I've, I've renamed mine. This is called Nacho Power Station. <laughs> but I can change my AC charge speed so I can crank that up to 1800. Is it on fast charge? Did I leave it on slow charge? Okay, now the switch is switched to slow slash custom. And now within here, I can actually change the speed that it's gonna charge at, which is nice because if for some reason your setup isn't able to put out 1800 watts, this might pop your breaker and you could adjust it in here. I I like 1800 watts, Get fast charge me up, man. But all around, it's really nice for me, basically how I use it is this lives outside the van and from inside I can go, how much power do I have left? Do I need to plug it in? Okay, and my number 10 reason for the EcoFlow Max 2000 um, it's the price. This thing is $1,899. So $1,900 for this main unit. That's a killer price for 2,016 watt hours for all the different features, 15 outlets on here. Again, I can expand it to, to 4,032 watt hours, which I will be buying one expansion battery pack. And if you are somebody that, that needs it, you can buy the second one and go up to 6,048 watt hours. There's just so much to this unit for only being $1,900. Like the price is, is very right on the EcoFlow Max 2000. Okay, those are my 10 reasons why we went with this unit. I wanna hear what you guys have to say though. If you had one of these or, or if you have a power station in general, what do you power with it? What would you power with it? Are you someone that is, is going van lifing or RVing or overlanding? Or are you the kind of person that's more like, hey, I want power with me just in case, in case things go wrong, I have a whole bunch of power. And because it's only 48 pounds, I could always take this out of the van and use this just as our battery backup at the house. I might use it like that also. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I will see you soon. I don't think I could do a lens tap with this thing. 48 pound lens tap. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later.